Okay, yay, welcome to Friday, SAS Friday, when we celebrate being SAS owners because it's one of my favorite business models ever. So um, I've got a single concept show for you tonight, um, uh, which should be very exciting, I hope. So, um, oh, you're already in, I set the place out off. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, which is basically the critical step. Okay, so, you know, you've got this, you know, SAS idea, or you've got a SAS, um, and, uh, you know, you want it to do fantastically well. How do we reliably-ish <laughs> um, make sure that it does fantastically well? What's the one thing that we need to do? What's the one thing we need to do to make sure that our SAS is fantastically successful on a reliable basis you can put the comments below in the below the video the live stream um, and let me know what what your number one is let me know what your number one is I'll give you five seconds to do that well I drink a thing three two one what's the one thing that you think would ensure fantastical success for your SAS so I lied to you it's not one thing <laughs> it's three things <laughs> so that's the first thing so um, basically everything everything uh, no matter what kind of blue ocean and jargon and whatever bananas you want to put into it, everything about marketing basically relies on the three P's. Okay, everything pretty much comes from the three P's. I might find something else tonight, but basically, um, oh, on, got that wrong. Okay, and the three P's are. Let me just write that one in, then I can concentrate. Um, there we go. The three P's are, as you can see, uh, the product, the people, and the presentation. So the presentation basically means the way that you explain, uh, yeah, what it is, what it does, yeah, you know, all that kind of thing. Um, and and all three of these have to be correct. So we, if we have the wrong product then it doesn't matter what else we do, we can't really get anywhere because we've got the wrong product. If we've got the right product, a great product, but it's not something that the people we're talking to or that we can reach uh, want, then again, it doesn't matter how good the product is or what else we do, if we're talking to the wrong people, uh, you know, we're not going to sell it. And then finally, if You've got, you know, the great product and the right people who want to buy it, but you can't explain it uh, or something about the way you say it is dodgy or incongruent or you just confuse the heck out of people and they just don't really understand if it is or if there's some sort of, um, you know, inconsistency uh, or some stupid bloody limit uh, that you put on your SAS tiers, which is one of my, you know, pet hates if you've been following the show drives me mad when people put uh, these stupid limits on it just to tear it up so they can milk more money out of it. Um, you know, if you do something wrong, well, that's technically probably the product, but anyway. But, you know, if, if something is wrong, something doesn't add up, uh, if you're not explaining it properly, if people don't understand what, you know, the advantage is to them, then again, they're not going to buy it, okay? Um, you know, uh, it, it's just the way the world is. So... In terms of that, uh, actually I'm going to duplicate that, I think. Um, yeah, in terms of that, um, yeah, how do we implement, yeah, or what are, what are the things that we need to do, um, you yeah, to get this, um, I won't say guaranteed, but, um, uh, yeah, fantastic um, uh, selling, I'll just put selling. Fantastic selling SAS, okay? Yeah, well, how do we translate these things into yeah, our actual implementation? So, there are basically, um, I might do that slightly in between actually. There are basically, um, 
you know, some things, you know, that, that we need to happen. Okay, so one is, is that we need reach. So we need to get in front of the right people. Okay, and, you know, largely that can be done with advertising. Uh, but, you know, there's also, you know, all the attraction marketing stuff uh, that we can do. Um, and we've spoken about those in other series. Uh, you know, there's a thousand and one of them. Um, none of them, are, you know, are the way. Um, so, you know, uh, it's debatable, you know, w which one you pick. Uh, but there are loads of, of methods to do it. Um, so, you know, that's, that's the first thing. Yeah, so, so we need to, to basically do that. And the, you know, the number one rule about that, you know, if we want to make it just really simple, uh, you know, and not talk marketing, you know, nonsense, uh, it's basically, it's to tell people what you do. Okay, that's basically what marketing is. Um, you know, technically it's tell the right people, um, but that's basically what it is. Um, and you have to do that. You see, this is the problem with, you know, we're all, as SaaS owners, um, you know, we're all very um, uh, kind of focused on, um, you yeah, building. Okay, um, and unfortunately building doesn't generate revenue. Uh, yeah, we're very creative and we love building, but unfortunately building doesn't earn you a penny. Okay, unless you're doing it for somebody else and they're paying you. Um, so it's really telling people what you do is really, you know, what earns the money. So we have to stop building because that needs to be like, you know, 5% of your, you know, your time. Um, is that only an L? Um, uh, you know, the building should be 5% of your time, you know, polishing and all that stuff. It's all very nice and you probably love doing it, but it doesn't earn a bean. So telling people what you do is what earns you a bean. So we have to get in front of people and tell them what we do. Okay? Uh, I do, you know, the right people. Okay? But I'll put it there. So I'm not going to type it again. Uh, the right people. Okay? We have to tell people what we do. Then we have to basically, uh, you know, convert them. Okay, I'm going to make that a more violent, vivid colour, just to you know show how important it is. Uh, we need to convert them, and 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 you know, converting them I probably might be the same similar thing for that. Um, well, they might not be. I don't know. I'm doing it live, I'm making it out as we go along. Could you know, could be anything. Anyway, let's assume that we've got something. To put in these boxes, um, so uh, you know to convert them, uh, you know basically your framing, which is another word really for presentation, uh, needs to be you know correct, and that's really going to be um, this isn't a negative in this one, uh, but that's basically going to mean um, many stories. Okay, and as I've said before, all those stories need to be based on client success. Okay, nothing really to do with you. Sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, but yeah, basically about the client success because that's all they're interested. In. They don't care how you know successful you are, particularly. I mean, but they you know they care in that um, yeah. If you're successful, then it, maybe it'll rub off on them and stuff. And they certainly wouldn't buy from you if you weren't successful. But you know, basically they're not interested in your success, they're interested in, uh, you know, their own um, success. What is that? I've done there. Oh, I see. Um, right. Uh, so let's get that. There we go. Okay, so that's, you know, one of the most important things, as we, as we said in other shows, which are all in the, uh, in the vault now, in the paid vault so and they're well worth having uh, and, and there's a lot of them now but yeah basically uh, you know that's that and as you can see uh, basically 
um, you know, uh, the reach and getting in front of the right people is basically the people, the P of people. The P of people? Anyway, you know what I mean. Um, uh, converting them by explaining it properly and talking about the stories and framing it and all that kind of stuff is the P for presentation. That sounded all right, but P for people didn't. But anyway, uh, so P for presentation. Um, and then the, um, the this box is going to be uh, probably the product, I guess. Um, Okay, so we need to get in front of people and explain it to them. Uh, yeah, so this is where I'm going to mix it up a little bit. So um, obviously the product needs to be fab. Um, but the main thing about the product is that we need to get people uh, to use it. Okay, that's the big thing. If they don't use it, they're not going to keep paying for it. And they're not going to tell their friends how great it is and you're not going to have case studies um, showing how great it is so the number one thing you know is that they have to use it and the way that we ensure that they use it is with onboarding which is basically um uh get over there what does that want to do that oh i see because it's gone down there uh which is basically guided success there's <laughs> a surprise and their success okay so if you help them to be successful with your onboarding then everybody's happy okay um so that's the thing so you know uh, i so i kind of have to take it as a given that the um you know that the product is good but you know it, it doesn't uh, you know unfortunately it doesn't matter how much you polish or refine or improve the product that that alone is not going to get you more sales it's more the opposite is that if the product sucks then your efforts will be more wasted but just you know just building the better mousetrap uh, to use that metaphor analogy um doesn't work okay building a better mousetrap and they will come you know complete fallacy okay um but it's not so it's not really about the product the product has to be good uh for sure but it, you know having a better product doesn't mean anything unless you're telling people that it's better and you're explaining to them that it's better and they understand and they believe you and they're excited about it and all that kind of stuff then having a better product on its own actually makes no difference but obviously if you've done these and then you've got a crap product then obviously that's not going to work okay but just having a better product isn't going to help you it's really more about these things here but you know even if you have the better product the prime thing is is we need to get people to use it and that as i say that means we need onboarding and that onboarding needs to be about their guided success well you know it's, it's, it's your guide to their success okay um but that's the priorities we have to make them successful and i know that's a really weird and scary and you know you didn't sign up for that kind of thing but you know that's the reality you know if you're charging a subscription then people have to be using the damn thing. Um, you know, there's no way around that. Um, so that, you know, uh, uh, in terms of product development or product maintenance or whatever you want to call it, or product growth, you know, that's the big thing. Is are people going to use it? So, although that's not exactly the P for product, um, it is about the product. So onboarding and getting people to use it is about the product. So it is kind of about that. Okay, so um, that's almost the big magical answer, isn't it? So yeah, if, if we tell enough people uh, or enough of the right people um, and we can explain it well, uh, you know, and we've got the, um, you know, the, the stories in there of, you know, the user success, okay? And if we're making sure that people are using it, then they're going to keep paying. So our attrition, um, you know, will be good. Or what should I say bad? Um, <laughs> uh, attrition will be low. That's what I'm trying to say. There we go. I knew there must be words to, to describe that. Um, so attrition will be low. Okay. 
Um, so, you know, that's, yeah, that's one thing. And then also, you know, that will have a knock-on effect, um, you know, which is basically, um, you know, happy users. Okay, that will mean, uh, you know, word of mouth and case studies and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, um, and that again will help you to sell more. So although it's not, you know, directly related, you know, a, a, a recommendation from an actual, you know, successful user is going to go miles, um, you know, towards other people buying it. Okay, it's one of the most important things you could do. So, yeah, and again, that, that you know, uh, it's underpinned by onboarding. That, that's the thing, that's the action you can take to make sure that all that happens. Okay, it's not over when you make the product. Um, in fact, it's never over, uh, but it's particularly never over when you make the product. It's about getting people, uh, you know, to use it. And then these other things, uh, you know, happen uh, here. And, you know, and obviously the low attrition means, um, uh, you know, more evergreen paying users. I should say evergreen in there. Okay, um, so that's, you know, that's basically that. So is this the magic answer? You know, is this Nirvana? Is this, um, you know, what, uh, you know, what we need to, to do? So let me just colour that what I think. Oh dear. Okay. So if we had to do one thing you know, which one of these would it, would it be? And I don't, I, honestly, I don't think we can do just one because, uh, you know, it relies, you know, massive success or whatever, we, what do we call it? Fantastic, um, I forgot what, what the description was now. Um, yeah, but awesome success or fantastic success, whatever we said, uh, it, you know, is, is, is almost certainly going to be related to, you know, to doing all three. Um, but the big question still remains, um, uh, you know, uh, what is the magic source here? Okay, um, right, what is the magic source here? So, um, I'll just put this to one side in case I need them. So um, as we say, it's not just having a great product that's going to do that. Obviously, that's kind of, you know, um, mandatory <laughs> that it's a great product. Um, uh, you know, and we've, we've talked about the, uh, you know, the other things. So, you know, what is, what is the magic source here? So, um, you know, as a SaaS, you know, the biggest factor is... Uh, you know, more paying users, okay? Free users don't really help us. Um, you know, we need more paying users. So, is the biggest thing that we can do, you know, just to get more people to see it, so that more people use it? Is it that we want better conversion, so that the people who see, more people who see it sign up for it? Is it the onboarding so that when people do use it, they stay with it and their attrition is low? Or is there something else um, that we need to, yeah, that we need to do? And actually I alluded to this, I think two or three weeks ago. Uh, and that's basically um, that, um, that your product becomes legend. Okay, now that's different to branding. Branding means that people know your name, okay? But legend, uh, let me just put that out there. So branding basically means that they know your name, okay? But legend means that you own the space, or own at least a part of the space, okay? That's the big thing, and when you own part of the space, and you know you become a legend, you become the Hoover of vacuum cleaners, or maybe it's Dyson now, yeah, whatever, whatever it is. Um, have that in there. 
uh, Hoover, oh, vacuum cleaners. Maybe it's Dyson now, as I say. Uh, you know, you see that those things change. But uh, you know, it used to be that we would say get the Hoover out, and but Hoover was the brand; it wasn't the device. Um, so they were always the, um, you know, the thing. Uh, I mean, I don't think um, there's been a case of that with like soap powder. You know, we don't say, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, put in the aerial or something like that, or put in the personal. Although they're kind of synonymous with it, but they didn't really, yeah, they didn't become the, yeah, the de facto um, uh, uh, soap powder. Um, but they become synonymous with it, so you know, they got close. But Hoover, uh, you know, actually became, um, you know, the, the the defining word. Okay, let me make that black. Um, and there are other cases of you know of that where the you know the thing like Annie and I'm, I can't even say that now. Uh, Annie and manga. Okay, um, if I'm confused which way round it is now, but I think Anim no, I think Manga was the company and Anim is the art form. I think it's that way around. I may have that wrong, um, but it's something like that. Uh, but yeah, when we talk about it, we, we kind of, you know, use them interchangeably. OK, and that's because they own the space. You know, they're, they're, they're one of the top you know, kind of things. It's like, you know, it hasn't happened actually. But, you know, if we called um, uh, all, all kind of, uh, you know, cartoons, you know, a Disney, you know, I'm going to watch a Disney rather than I'm going to watch a cartoon, um, then, you know, they would own the space. But we, and that's weird because they do own the space. Uh, you yeah, know, they're one of the biggest players in, in cartoons. Uh, you yeah, know, and they've bought all these other companies like Marvel, so they bought Marvel. And Marvel is, you know, uh, really the leader in, um, you know, uh, sort of comic science fiction kind of stuff. Um, not really labelling them, you know, correctly there, but you know, you kind of know what I mean. Uh, but again, you know, um, they haven't become synonymous with, you know, oh, sorry, they have become synonymous with the with the thing, but they haven't really owned the space for some reason. So something, something is missing in these two big cases of you know Marvel and Disney, where they just didn't manage to, um, you know, be the spark for some reason. But they're synonymous, so they've done very well. Um, so I guess synonymous is, uh, you know, another option, uh, you know, that you could aim for. Synonymous. I don't know. Sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, that kind of looks right. Um, I might have spot that wrong. Uh, so yeah, being synonymous is something that you, that you could aim for. Yeah, if you don't want to, or if you can't own the space. But yeah, owning the space is really you know the thing so you know that 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 would be the one thing so owning the space is kind of a combination really of all of these you know it means that you know um you know a huge percentage of the people know of you uh, they understand what you're saying and they know that you're really good at it because you've got you know users actually actively you know talking about the success they're having uh, you know with that platform uh, but all of that kind of, you know, uh, congregates to you, um, you know, owning the space, okay? Um, and that's really it. So, um, you know, I guess the bigger question is, you know, how do we own the space? That's probably, a, you know, a complicated thing that I haven't got time for in this show. Um, but, you know, just as a guide, or not as a guide, as a, uh, um, I don't know, a hint, um, you know, to what it might be, something for you to, you know, to, to delve into, um, let, let, you know, let's see what that would be. So, um, again, I've covered this in, in other shows, really, how do we own the space, which are now in the page vault. Um, I should really put that link in sometime, shouldn't I? Um, if I want to certainly click just click dot com slash Buick show. Okay. Now, if you put in the coupon code Buick show, 
you'll get a huge the hell have I in there? Uh, you'll get a huge discount um, as well. Okay, so that's I suggest you that. So uh, yeah, anyway, we've talked about um, you know how do we own the space before, but uh, yeah, just because um, you're here and you may not may or may not have watched the other show. Um, let's just explain uh, you know a bit about that. So the main thing is. Um, I hope I'm going out. Yeah, uh, let's just check. Yeah, that looks like it's working. Okay. Um, the main thing is, and I don't know if this is counterintuitive or not. I guess that it is kind of counterintuitive. Um, but the main thing is, is that um, you know, SaaS owners, um, you know, uh, and whatever, uh, and product developers. Uh, you know, tend to do geek speak, uh, you know, about their own thing. So they talk about, you know, specs and features and, uh, you know, how clever their algorithm is and all that kind of stuff. And that needs to happen to an extent. Um, but, that, you know, people, you know, generally, Wi-Fi FM aren't really interested in that. You know, they're, they're pleased that it exists uh, and they want it and they probably appreciate that, but that's not really you know why they would buy it um, and again you know it's going to be you know why Wi-Fi FM you know what's in it for them uh, and basically it's going to be again about their success so how do we talk about their success I'm going to sneeze now <laughs> sneeze at the most inopportune times anyway I guess that's part of sneezing uh, you know how do we how do we get this message across you know how do we how do we talk about you know their success and it's really um, uh, yeah what we described that before is drilling up in that we talk about um, the uh, you know things above the product so kind of you know outcomes and results um, and you know integration uh, and where it, you know and the journey that's involved because again you know to use the SaaS um, you know even if you think of a you know a, a kind of a software solution like a word processor um, you know that's great that's the technology but the thing that, that you know that we would um, find you know by drilling up it's basically, you know, uh, English and, you know, writing better stories uh, and how to tell stories and all that kind of stuff. So that's the other end of, uh, you know, the word processor is the words that you put in it. Oh, or in most SASs, um, uh, in most SASs case, it's going to be... Um, the output. Uh, oh, I'll just take that on. So, yeah, where where it's seen and yeah, how it's seen and who sees it and, and that kind of stuff. So you know, a lot of tools are about you know that end of it. Um, but you know, the other um, you know skill set of it. Uh, a bit smaller because it's going to be. Too big, I think. That's, that's too small. That'll do. Um, you, you know, uh, the other end of it is, is going to be, uh, you know, con the co what goes into it. Okay, the the content. Okay. Um, oh, that's slightly bigger. Oh. And there's probably a formula in there that I'm missing right now, but yeah, you know, basically we've got the input and the output. Uh, I guess the other one would be what happens in the middle, which is basically the processing. I can't quite think what the example of processing is, um, but that's probably the other one. Yeah, so it's what goes in, what comes out, and what happens in the middle. Okay, so it's like a story. Um, 
and you know that's the that's what's involved in the drilling up so um, if you only talk about your own thing and talk about it in terms of features and spec and all of that kind of stuff um, it's not really going to tick the box for Wi-Fi FM and you know what how they're going to use in the excess and you you know you're not you're not doing this drilling up thing where you're talking about you know these three power circles here um, you know and talking about in terms of your know, user terms which are you know these things uh, yeah, these four things down here and there's probably more but they're the first four that I've thought of um, and excuse me so uh, you know basically um, this uh, is uh, you know this this is basically what creates the legend so when you're talking about you know more than your own thing when you're talking about the you know the industry and the people and the politics and the um, you know dreams and the betterment of you know everybody involved and you know all those kind of things uh, you know then you're you're becoming part of the legend right hopefully that's um, uh, obvious enough um, and and that's basically yeah that's basically it so then the question is and then we have to stop um, but then the question is, is you know how do we how do we um, yeah how do we do this drilling up thing how do we how do we get it to happen and what is it that we're gonna drill up or not what is it you know you know that you have to drill up but yeah how, how do we actually achieve you know this bit just do a Thanks, my son. Um, but I'm going to take. I'm going to take those. Is that in or not? I don't know. Um, yeah, well, brilliant. Um, yeah, how do we implement it? You know, legend. Okay. Um, and. Yeah, you know, the short answer to that is you know you know what you've got to do. You've got to talk about more than your own thing. You've got to talk about you know yourself in, in industry terms and the people using it and the success, and you know all the factors that are involved in it. You know the input and the output. Um, uh, something like that. Who sees it? That'll do. Um, and the processing. Yeah, you know, what happens about it in in the middle? But in terms of you know the users, not not in terms of the technology. Okay, um, as I say, you probably need to talk about your technology at some point. Uh, but that, you know, it's not the main focus. You know, the main thing that will help you is you know is this. Um, there we are. Um, so um, you know, so the main thing about this is you know um, press releases. Um, you know, groups and, and forums, um, you know, when they see their ads, uh, the content that you syndicate, okay, uh, and that could involve, you know, several things. It could be books, it could be infographics, uh, it could be, you know, uh, micro courses, you know, and, and it could be free or paid. It doesn't necessarily mean that everything has to be free, it's just the fact that it exists. Um, is you know is is what will create the legend. Uh, yeah, again, there's probably some you know uh, finesse to that, but uh, you know basically, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's the fact that it exists, not the fact that um, uh, that it's free or paid or whatever. Um, yes, yeah, so there's that. Um, also, there's um, uh, you know word of mouth. There's, uh, you know, the, the uh, industry status, so it might be that you join an association or it might be that you create the association. But there's something like that. And, you know, and, and uh, yeah, that's actually something that's put that one again. Um, another thing that usually propels, uh, propels that a lot uh, is third party support. So if other people are doing add ons and, you know, and courses and, um, you know, extensions, then 
that means that they've decided, you know, that they're saying this thing is important enough that I'm also going to create, you know, stuff for it. Um, so that kind of, you know, that, that's a kind of massive, um, you know, social proof kind of thing or industry proof that other people are, you know, supporting it. That, you know, that it's become a standard. And actually that's another thing. Uh, you know, so if you define standards, um, you know, and you publish them, uh, and maybe you do, um, you know, white papers and blue papers, you know, all that kind of stuff. Okay, uh, maybe you have... Is that no, not, hang on, I can't see. Um, yeah, it did. Um, maybe you have, you know, a, 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 you know, TV station or TV, you know, channel or, you know, YouTube channel. Um, you know, to do with the, you know, with the industry, not just with your... Product. I'm going to bring that down in size, I'm afraid. Um, because it won't fit otherwise. Okay, let's see if we get away with that. Um, so, yeah, again, press releases, it's telling people you do, having a presence in groups and forums, or even creating those, uh, you know, that's either creating or having a presence in, um, you know, maybe you do, uh, you know, guest blogging or you know that kind of thing uh, particularly trade shows so the, the industry you know shows that you have a presence and you know because you're, you're at the show um, uh, you know uh, magazine reviews uh, and also bloggers these days I guess um, but you know the more people talking about you and reviewing what you do means that you're more and more important you know in that space and there's the legend uh, you know coming in again uh, let me just see if I can just copy that one rather than yeah, anything else. Um, sometimes that goes wrong there. Okay, so all of this. Okay. Um, and, yeah, and those sort of things. I, I could probably go on, um, but that's... Uh, hmm. uh, that's 12, I guess. I don't know why that's gone back to zero there. Anyway. Um, yeah. um, you know, again, if you're appearing in, in, you know, directories and you're on a, you know, you're a member of associations, uh, maybe you put on, you know, a summit or something, um, you know, if you get, I'll put that out there because I'm going to run out of room, uh, if, you know, if you get interviewed, so if you do interviews, Views. Uh, and also, you know, public speaking. Okay, um, where you know um, where you're being, uh, yeah, where your expert status is being, uh, you know, um, done. And yeah, you know, and when we say interviews, it could also be you know CNN and news and, and all that kind of thing. So when these kind of you know people, um, you know, agree that you are you know that much of an expert in your field then, you know, that's the legend of your company, um, you know, really shining through, okay? Um, and these are all fairly simple things to, you know, to do. There's nothing really in this list, these 14 things here, um, that, that's beyond your, you know, reach. There's nothing to stop you doing press releases and nothing to stop you being interviewed, um, you know, for... Uh, you know, news channel or something, um, uh, you know, uh, actually podcast channels. But again, that's, you know, it's kind of syndication. But, you know, th that's become quite popular recently. So, you know, if you have a podcast channel, then, you know, you must be moderately important or authoritative in, you know, in the niche. And, yeah, as I say, this all goes to create your legend. So that's 15 things, at least, straight away, you know, off the top of my head, um, where you can build your legend. But obviously, you know, note that, um, you know, you're, you're not going to be invited to, uh, you know, CNN News or something if um, uh, sponsorships are not on. Um, uh, you know, if you're only going to talk about your thing in a geeky way, you know, what, what, what the news channels want is they want, um, you know, an authority on the industry. So yeah, you you can say that you know, you know you'll build blogs from you know X Y Z company, 
uh, and you're there to talk about, um, yeah, whatever. Um, but you're talking about the industry or the social or the business or the outcome. Yeah, again, we're back to this kind of thing here. Yeah, you're 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 drilling up and you're talking about this. Now you may you know mention your product, um, and you know, and maybe people are interested and excited by the fact that you have a unique feature or product or whatever or the best product or whatever. But you're not there as an advert. You're there as a ambassador, really, um, of the industry. Ambassador. That's kind of a good word. Um, so, you know, when you become an ambassador of the industry rather than of your own product, I'd say that's the kind of critical, critical, you know, mass point kind of thing. So when you become an, oops, when you become a, where have I gone now? Um, oh, how did I get all the way up there? Um, I didn't know you could do that. Uh, where else are we? Oh, we're back here somewhere. Um, yeah, when you become an ambassador uh, for the industry versus you know, yourself or your product, then that's when your legend you know, will really kick in. Uh, and when you think about it in those terms, it's going to be fairly obvious what you know you need to do in your particular niche industry space, um, you know, to do that. But when they see you, you know, the CEO of X Y Z, you know, doing all these sixteen things, then you know the legend of you and and the legend of your company skyrocket. Okay. Now, if that if there's that much going on, and you're in that many places in that many forms. Um, and people are talking about you and you're the reference and yeah, whatever and you've got third party support and um, uh, actually I didn't put that in um, you know, if you own the standard and you have you know, third party uh, you know, developers or whatever uh, you know, creators, trainers all that sort of stuff then you know, th that's um, people are going to see that and realize that you're a major player. And then when you're a major player, when you know, by being an ambassador of the industry, when you're a major player, then, uh, you know, that's gonna feed back into, you know, your company. Not surprising. Um, but that's really the thing. So if there was one thing that you could do that was the secret source of your SaaS, that would be it, I think, or oh, certainly one of them. There's probably others, um, but that's the one, uh, you know, that springs to my mind, uh, you know, right now. Um, uh, and there we go. So if there's one thing you could do, that would be it. And as I say, you know, none of them are product related. Um, none of them are, about, you know, you talking about you. Um, none of them are about really having a better product. The better product is, is a given. We can't have a bad product and do this because, you know, it, it's not going to work. Um, but assuming we've got a great product, um, uh, you know, and we do these things, then that's going to make, you know, create your legend, that's going to make you a major player, and that's basically going to create um, uh, whatever it was we said. I've forgotten what the expression we did now. Um, but, you know, our... Uh, a bit more room than that. Uh, you know, a, a fantastically awesome. Uh, I'm just going to say selling. Uh, you know, SaaS. Okay, I, I, I'm saying selling because you know, being famous <laughs> uh, doesn't pay the rent. Um, but uh, selling more uh, does. So, uh, you know, maybe they're a function of each other. Um, you know, maybe they're inseparable. But the point is is that um, selling is really you know, what we want to do or what we need to do. Um, I'm just going to do that so I have a bit more room. Uh, I don't know what the colour make that make it look different. But, um, let's go with green again. We've been green for a while. Um, 
Yes, if there was one secret source thing to do, then you know, creating your legend would be the thing. And, and as I say, just bear in mind that legend is very, kind of totally different to branding. As I say, branding just means that people know who you are, maybe they know your why, you know, that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, it's not the same as, you know, as creating a legend. Um, you know, when you have a legend, you know, you are, you know, you are the guy. Um, and, uh, you know, that, that's not just brand, that is, uh, you know, you owning the space, as I say. So that's kind of it. Uh, I hope that's excited you, got you thinking. Um, yeah, there's, there is basically actionable stuff to do in here. Um, you know, you know the concept. Um, there's a list of 17, the first 17 that came to the top of my head. There are probably others, um, but that's 17. That's more than enough, um, you know, for you to get on with. And, you know, the time being what it is, you might have to just pick, you know, five of them that, that you think are the most important and where your strengths are. But basically, you know, the, the um, you know, the strategy is, is that if we do these things, when we become, uh, you know, an ambassador for the industry, um, you know, that's your authority and, you know, you're owning the space or you're, you know, dominating the space. And that will mean that you own the space. That makes you a major player. When you're a major player, uh, you'll sell more of your fantastically awesome sass. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I'll see you uh, Monday. Yeah, see you Monday. Uh, talk to you then. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Have a great SAS Friday. Yes. See you then.